Hey y'all, it's your girl T and I am back with another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about photo shoots, okay? Should you have a photo shoot? And if you do have a photo shoot, what are some things that you should consider if you are going to have a hair or wig photo shoot, okay? So before we get started, please make sure you hit the subscribe button along with that notification bell so that you're notified every time I make a new post. And follow me on all my social platforms at Stylish Styles by T on Instagram and Facebook. And yeah, let's get right into it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so a photo shoots. Um, if you are starting off in your business. I do recommend you having a photo shoot because, of course, you're going to need some professional looking pictures for your website. Okay, photo shoots um, are where you're going to get those nice pictures. I do not recommend using stock photos because people tend to um, image search those and think that they find your vendors, or just stock photos don't always sell because everybody uses stock photos, okay? So to set yourself apart, you don't wanna use stock photos, okay? <laughs> All right, so um, yeah. Now I do know that with photo shoots, they can be expensive because of course you have to get a photographer, you gotta get the models, you gotta get the hair for the models to wear, you gotta think about outfits and yada, yada, yada. So I am not against having a like a DIY photo shoot or at home photo shoot if you do not have the funds because you're just starting up, um, you know, to start off, doing a at home photo shoot would be fine. There are tons and tons of videos on YouTube on how to make your at home videos look good. Like y'all, like I, I need to have an at home um, photo shoot because really you do save a lot of money and one of the main things you need is a good camera or your phone and make sure that, you know, you have a good clear screen and the lighting, like the lighting and the camera and picture quality is the most important things in order to have a professional looking uh, photo shoot done at home to use for your website. Um, now, if you do have the money to, um, you know, invest in a nice photo shoot, then I would say you can go that route as well. Uh, I did have, I'm on my third photo shoot. I'll be planning another photo shoot soon. This will be number four. For my very first photo shoot, I remember um, I had three models. I think I, I might've had four, but one dropped out the day of the shoot. And um, yeah, it was, it was, it, it turned out really good, but you know, Looking back, it's like, oh, what was I thinking? But anyways, you know, you got to start somewhere, right? So um, I might insert a picture or two here of my, of my old photo shoot pictures. But, um, but yeah, so when I thought about doing a photo shoot, of course, I thought about how many models. Now, I would not recommend you having no more than three other girls if you're going to use yourself in the um, pictures. The less amount is better. You don't need 10 girls. You don't need six girls. You don't need five girls. Too many girls is, um, you know, it just takes away from the, what the focus of the photo shoot is going to be about. And that's something that I learned. Like when I tell you every photo shoot I've done, I feel like I learned, oh, I'm not going to do this next time. I'm going to do that next time. So yeah, anyways, um, you don't want to have too many girls. Um, another thing is you don't want you know, you don't want to have like too much going on. When you think of a, a photo shoot, think of your theme, think of your colors that you want to do. Um, you don't want, if your photo shoot is focusing on wigs and hair, that needs to be the focal point. That needs to be what stands out. They don't need no fancy earrings. They don't need no necklaces that's blinged out and all of that. They don't need no colorful looking outfit because all of that is going to take away from the hair. Then people are going to look at the pictures like, okay, am I looking, what, what is this photo shoot about? Is it about the necklace? Is it about the shirt? So you want people to be able to look at those pictures and automatically say, oh, that hair, it's the hair for me. That hair looks good. Like you want the hair to stand out. Um, 
say for example you do decide to do three girls in your photo shoot and say if it's not you you're just strictly directing um make sure you have three different styles if you can include a color look in there include that but you want a curly style you want a straight style you want a short style or something like that but you don't want them all to have the same look because you want to be able to show versatility on your um like website or wherever you're going to post those pictures make sure that whatever they wear make sure that it's um it all looks like it goes together you know like for example if you do decide and tell the girls hey everybody wear black and then somebody come in they have on off black or like you know dingy black or something then that is not going to look very good in the pictures so um make sure everybody is on one page with the look and everything i know when i did my first photo shoot what i did was i had all the girls wear ripped jeans and i think we did white shirts and i provided the shirts i believe i'm not sure it was long ago um no i didn't i let them provide their shirts and their jeans because it was just like blue and white and then i focused on the hair now as far as the hair the, or the wigs i did do all of their hair the um morning or the day before the shoot and i styled it the day of and everything um i did have one of the girls was a makeup artist that i used so she was able to do all of my makeup so it worked it was a two for one um that's how i did my first shoot the girls brought their own outfits i told them what to wear i provided the hair at a discounted price i didn't give them the hair for free i do know that some people um recommend providing free hair for a wigs for your models but you know just starting up i wasn't able to afford that you know i gotta pay these vendors so i was able to give them like a vendor rate or something like that and like half off their install which the girls were totally fine with doing that um but yeah so my first shoot it was it was actually it was not bad so my second shoot that i did i decided this shoot that okay i wanted i think i had six girls or five five or six girls yeah but anyways i think i had five that shoot went really 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 well i'll try to start a picture here of one of my um uh pictures from my second shoot so that photo shoot you know i took it up a notch i provided all the girls with their um outfits you know i went and got some um fairly cheap like black i did the black outfits and some tights and i did white no i i had them they only had to pay for their white button-up shirts we did two looks yes we did two looks and we also did a denim look so for the second look everybody wore different types of denim i just wanted it to be like skin tone and denim and the hair so the hair is what was going to stand out in the pictures um for that i gave discounts for installing all the wigs or the hair and i gave discounts on the hair so again i did not provide it for free um but even at a discount people are still glad to take a discount okay um who did the makeup i think i did have one girl no yeah okay one girl in there i always some kind of way figure out to use the makeup artist as one of the models so she was able to do the makeup now i don't think that i would do that again yeah i won't do that again i will make sure that i have a separate makeup artist from the girls because we had way more girls than the first time um i felt like the makeup artist was not able to focus and get herself together because she had to get everybody else together and that could be you know a lot just on her like you got to be makeup artist and you got to do your own makeup on there to shoot that's that was a lot so i probably would do that and that's another reason why i wouldn't you know I wasn't in the second shoot because I wanted to focus on behind the scenes and making sure their hair looked good. I didn't want to have to focus on is my hair looking right and their hair. No, I need to make sure y'all look good for the shoot. So yeah, I did two looks. Every girl got their own different look. Now, one thing that I would say I would not do in a future look is I don't think I would do because I did full body shots of the models again the focus needs to be the hair 
doing full body shots, it the attention or the focus, you know, all my girls were, were bad. So the attention or the focus, you know, tend to be on the bodies, the legs, the butts, you know, and that's something that I was like, okay, we're gonna crop because we this is what we need. This is what's important, okay? Even if you do get a couple of um full bodies, then that's okay. But my girls, you know, we ain't have much clothes on or they didn't have much clothes on. So that's something that I will make sure just to stay focused on the hair. Um, let's see, what else? With the photo shoot, um, you also want to make sure that, of course, you don't have to, but this is something I did. I did provide all the girls with like a little goodie bag at the end because it did take up their time to come out and do a photo shoot for me. Um, so I gave them little goodie bags with shirts and a couple of other little things in it just to show my appreciation. That's something that when you're planning your first photo shoot, if you have other girls, that's something that you could do. Um, also, if you do decide to do, I think how I got my girls, oh, that, that's another question. Like, how did I come up with my models? Most of my models, because I did hair before I, uh, just started selling wigs were my clients. So my first group of models were clients my second they were clients too but i think i posted on instagram like hey i'm looking for um wig you know looking for models for a photo shoot and then people reached out to me and then i just chose from there i tried to you know choose different skin tones different facial structures and different things like that and then i also made sure to ask the girls like hey these are the six styles i didn't give them an option like hey what style you want no i said i'm doing a box style a straight bone straight uh uh curly look a colored look and a something else look choose the style the first ones that tell me that's the style that you'll get that's the style you're gonna pay for and they did that with no problem the last girl she you know a lot of them didn't mind whatever style it was just nice to try a different style at a discount but um yeah like just if you are planning a photo shoot, just make sure you write everything out, plan everything down to the T. Um, don't stress the day of. If the girls never met each other, for them to get a little bit comfortable, I do recommend, you know, maybe having like a little girls night or having something at your house, um, maybe the day before the shoot or something, just to get them to introduce each other. And it's just, just not like, okay, who is this or nice to meet you and then now you got to get skin to skin you know with your pictures now you can also do a photo shoot with just only yourself and that's totally fine if you're the face of your brand my third photo shoot i just only use myself because i did need to get some images of me um and i think i did do two looks and i i didn't change my hair i don't believe but anyways that's always an option too if you can't find any girls um because sometimes it can be hard to find reliable girls always always make sure that you have a plan b or a backup plan when it comes to doing a photo shoot because i'm going to tell you right now everything that you're going to have planned is not going to go as planned because everything that i've had planned from every single shoot that i've done nothing went exactly as planned at all something always went wrong or went left or you know somebody didn't have this or somebody didn't have that have an extra of everything just in case um you know, make sure your girls are comfortable. Budget, if you're going to spend money on their clothes or whatever, budget that in. Or you can tell the girls, hey, everybody go on H&M website, buy this shirt, this, you know, this style shirt. This is what we're wearing. Do it like that and you can't go wrong. So yeah, um, that basically sums up what I can think about um, as far as having a photo shoot for your business. Um, if you do have any other questions, you could leave them below and I'll make sure to get to them. But thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.